and welcome to DM Talks. As you can hear, I'm coughing a little bit. I'm sorry for that, but let's get a new game in here. Uh, well, I got a good game for you today where I show that GMs, they miss tactics. And you miss tactics. We all miss tactics. And if we didn't miss tactics, we would be much better. So how to avoid missing tactics. There's also a little bit about technique, how to improve your technique. Uh, what you can, how you should think about technical uh, decisions in the end game. It's in the all moves explained uh, category. So I'm taking you through how a grandmaster thinks during the game. What what am I considering? What I'm not considering? And uh, maybe you can use that in your games as well. So let's get into it. It's from the round three in the Alara tournament that I won. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and uh, I'm playing against the guy who came second in the tournament. Uh, and I'm playing C4. And, um, well, uh, the reason I play C4, I, I, I didn't know what he was playing, uh, to be honest. We, it was like two rounds a day, so you didn't have time for preparation. This was uh, round three, so uh, we had played a game early in the morning, and then now we had the afternoon game. Uh, and there was a, a lunch break, and I used it to walk down. It's very cold, it's like minus eight or something, and uh, had a nice pizza and came back, and that was like uh, 15 minutes, and I didn't bother to look up what he was playing. I just say, okay, I'm gonna just play this uh, English repertoire that I I'm trying to build. So that's what I did. Uh, and here he played B6, uh, which is, um, not in the book, <laughs> but I knew that. And actually they have uh, since published uh, uh, some lines for, for white in this system. Um, anyway, and he played G6 and I remember, ah, this is what uh, Core does. By the way, Core is a, is a typical uh, Danish IM. He's, he's, he's fighting well, he's got decent technique, decent tactics and so on, but he's very uneven. Sometimes he plays very well, sometimes he plays uh, badly, it's not, easy to tell uh, which one of uh, the core uh, guys you will you will get you will get in your games um, and he likes these murky uh, weird openings uh, which he seems to be preparing a lot at the moment so recently he's, he's been playing much better and uh, by the way a lot of players do much better when they prepare their a lot of openings look at the openings because it's sort of uh, gets into your middle game so your middle game thinking becomes better at a higher level and 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 you just play better anyway um i decided to play b3 uh, this is not the critical line i remember i think uh nikas had some line where he played uh, d4 and uh, and castle and uh, rook e1 or something like that and that's probably the best one against this weird double fiancheto uh, system for black um Black, of course, could try go into the double fiancé. The thing is, I, I want to, I know that I'm probably better than core uh, in all aspects of the game. So I need just to get him into my kind of position and then I'm sure I will be able to outplay him. So not playing on his home turf is my only consideration here. So I play B3 because uh, I played the double fiancé as black a lot and I studied it and I know this and of course he can play c5 here which is a natural move and he doesn't but now he plays it and the thing is uh, the main moves here are knight c3 and d4 and so on uh, but I decided to go knight a3 and the thing is uh, I'm trying to get him into a kind of position I know well as black um, so I probably hope I hope to to outplay him there, and he plays d5, and a very natural move, um, and I play e3. Now um, we, we of course we can see that we we both have uh, bishops uh, working towards the center, um, and it goes both way. So, and I have uh, the knight here. He has his knight here. He has to decide what to do with the knight, and he decides to go here, which is a natural square. Um, and uh, I played d4, and um, and the idea was actually to, uh, if he takes here, I would take back with the knight, and if he takes here, I would actually take back with the. And here is it recommends, a, uh, but I would probably take back with the pawn, and this is what. I usually play as black, and uh, you what you do is you follow up with something like queen e2, you put your rooks in the center, and then you, you play a knight here, and you 
push the eight spawn and it looks very good for black but it's uh, it's very difficult to play and uh, you get serious attacking chances and uh, um, i won some games with, with black and a lot of games actually in blitz with this uh, this line so i thought this was a good try against core and also i didn't i think it's sort of a positional trap i like that when something looks good for the opponent and it's not is is always nice but but he, uh, but anyway, um, here he, he took on d4, and I decided, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna take back with the knight and keep. Um, and basically, I have a slight initiative. Uh, I'm just slightly better developed, and and my bishops are now liberated, and his bishops are not liberated. Um, and we we keep on moving here, and he takes here, and and this is already a critical uh, moment in the game. Um, and and uh, and he plays uh, this move, uh, which is 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 not a bad move. And I played probably a mistake here. I played rook d1. Um, the, the thing is, he's, he's clearing this uh, diagonal and um, and he's trying to use this. And the, the natural move is of course to go rook here. Uh, Having this uh, queen here on this diagonal is, of course, a little bit uh, annoying. But the thing is, he can't move the knight to other places than, than e8 or h5. Or I will take him with mate if he moves the knight to e4, for instance. So, uh, and, and that's putting it on passive squares. And what white is basically trying to do is, is use as much momentum as possible to get the active pieces and get some sort of concessions from white uh, from black here the best move is probably uh, queen h4 uh, i played uh, rook fd1 and uh, he took here which is a good move uh, and i thought it was slightly worse because i thought his queen was now in in some sort of trouble when i move my queen his uh, his queen is gonna be uh, be be exposed to this rook here um, uh, but the best move here is, is to take back and have a very, very slight advantage. Uh, I have a little, little bit of bishop, but it's not much, and it's probably very drawish. I played this move, and this is actually a serious mistake. Um, and, uh, and I was very surprised when I later on uh, realized that he missed a big tactics here. Um, so, what can black do in this position? Um, Remember when we were talking about uh, tactics, um, there's three things uh, to, to look at uh, according to Baburin's rule is uh, uh, all checks. There's no checks here. Well, he can take on D1, but that's not good. Uh, all night moves. Well, night moves uh, doesn't look like where it's going. No. And then all things that takes something. Uh, and, and of course the queen is threatened, but it, it turns out that if he takes here, uh, my king is in serious trouble here. Uh, so I can't actually take on d8. I have to take back or, um, or play something like, I don't know, uh, rook a1 or something. Because if I take here, and he takes here, and he takes here, and he takes here, and he's he's threatening really nasty stuff here. Uh, and you probably have to do this. And then this one survived, so it's gonna take here. And uh, already after something like this, we get to sense that this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, and 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 base basically, uh, black is 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 lost here. The knight is is coming, and uh, he's gonna get rid of the bishop and the the. A pawn is going to queen. So he could take on b3. Uh, of course, none of us saw this move. Uh, it's like, whoa, there's something like, uh, and, and none of the, no one in the tournament saw this move. But of course, the people sitting behind the screen at home saw this move uh, instantly because the computer sees it uh, immediately. After rook a1, I, I, lost a, I have lost a pawn. And, um, and of course, uh, this is, is better for, for black. It's not lost. Uh, I, I, I think I will not lose this uh, to, to core, to be honest. Um, uh, but I will not win it either, I guess. So, uh, and I might lose it. So, so this was a little bit, and that was, uh, but of course he didn't see it. So he moved the queen. Um, and, uh, and, and of course, I didn't know during the game that uh, I was in, in some sort of trouble. It looks natural. And now the, the queen is in, 
in in this firing lines okay and i keep doing that um and uh, and he played rook d8 maybe uh, and that's also natural um and i play rook e1 and that was uh, probably surprising for him but i thought that i was better here that his queen is in some sort of trouble I'm, i might be threatening something like bishop e5 which is is not uh, very pleasant um and so on and um but of course he is he's probably okay after something like 98 here but he didn't play that he he decided to take uh, and that was um uh, i was a little bit of a surprise i took back um by the way this is the kind of things where computers really with all these things like it recommends bishop a3 here um <laughs> like okay uh, i didn't even consider that of course and he goes back um and uh, and the thing is how to drum up something we have a more or less uh, symmetrical position um he's basically going to try and exchange this guy for this guy uh this is this is of course black's plan and then uh, let this bishop here shoot into thin air and not be able to do anything that's uh, what 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 black is hoping to do and i'm trying to um to get something, I need I need to get something to attack, something to to use my momentum to hopefully sit on the open file. First of all, I thought, okay, let's let's sit on the C file, and he should probably play B5 here would be a natural move. He took and I took back with the queen. I was I was happy with that because uh, I'm, I'm controlling this and I'm and I'm not probably not threatening rook c7 uh, at the moment but uh, because he will be very active uh, but at some point I will I'm, I'm just I'm not that far away from from being able to play uh, and and sit uh, and become very active uh, and I'm of course hoping that the bishop will will uh, play a role in in the future and he here played uh, e6 uh, I thought it was a little bit weakening a little bit um, uh, and and one of the thing the rules for these kind of positions is that you you have to uh, to try and get some momentum of some sort so i play this move uh, the computer does not like this move um i thought it was a it was a pretty nice move actually um i think he should play knight d7 here <coughs> <laughs> he played 98 that was his plan all along he's uh, he's trying to to exchange uh, this guy uh, well it goes the other way and uh and i played here of course i'm not I'm, i don't want to exchange this one and uh, he can't go here uh, and follow the bishop which was probably the plan because of uh, this move and that's why knight d7 would have been smarter because then he could play bishop f8 and it's probably very equal i still have some slight uh, sort of optical uh, advantage um anyway uh, nothing i don't threaten i'm not threatening anything at the moment so uh, but but it's uh, we are getting short of time and so on and he and he's decided to attack and i play queen b4 and uh, it's it's actually uh threatening a uh, mate in in one move so he has to do something about it and he played nice c7 and i was happy about that and here i was thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and um and in the end, I decided that the end game is probably good for me. Um, as it turned out, it's, it's, it's actually very good, uh, but but I was not certain. And this this is something that you should know about Grandmaster Chess is that they they always afterwards they always look like oh I was I'm I was certain this was good for White or it looked like they were certain, but they're you're not really certain that it's good. Sometimes you are, uh, but but. But during the game, I was not. So, but queen f4 is uh, putting pressure on double attack and so on. And of course, if he goes here, I will I will keep uh, my bishop pair and if something like this, uh, I will keep I will take the queen and I will keep my bishop pair and and uh, and and the the c file and the c file is almost always better than the d file in this uh, kind of position and and his king is problem coming along there's no entry at the moment in the in the c file but it it might it might be there one day so so that that's this is something where you have something you can play on this um so uh, but this this move was uh, was was a pleasant surprise also he, he would not like something like this because i take here and 
and uh, and he's he's uh, he's in trouble, right? Um, I, I just take on f6 and and go go e7, rook c7, and he he will have big problems uh, getting his pieces out. So, um, but this was his plan all along, and and the end game is 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 nice for me because I can take here and give him a weak pawn. So. Uh, going into the endgame is always difficult, uh, and it was one of the last thing I, I think I mastered as a player, uh, uh, reaching I am level or something before it really uh, I really understood. Okay, it's it's that simple. Uh, so here um, I'm keeping his pieces uh, passive. His king has problems uh, entering uh, the game. It would like to be here very soon, but uh, the bishop is is holding it back, and he will get a weak pawn here. He's also he has some problems here, and I am controlling the c file. So uh, I am of course better here. Uh, the question is how much. Um, the thing is, uh, what you really want to do here is control the position. Uh, if you control the position, keep him sort of uh, tied down, you will win uh, the game. Um, if he gets counterplay, it can be a little bit of random. So you really want him to, to not be able to, to do anything. So, uh, But active rook makes a lot of sense and uh, king f1. Um, and and this is one of the things, uh, well, you always want to do something. So rook c6 looks uh, natural, and it is, and it's probably, it might even be the best, but uh, I realized that if I could get my king to, to d3, I'm probably winning uh, easily. So uh, so he, I, I decided to go here immediately, and he uh, played b5, and that's weakening uh, something, and I'm trying to dominate his piece. The computer not really happy about this move, uh, but I kind of like it. Uh, rook on c6, bishop on d6, uh, all dominating, and he's of course playing, uh, and he played this move, which is, he should play d4, uh, for sure. The question here is, can I play e4? And that was definitely the plan, to play e4, for sure. Uh, the computer's not completely convinced, um, and uh, and of course uh, he has to play d3, and as something like this, uh, it might be uh, more unclear than I like. I don't know. Um, the thing is, if he this is this weak or strong, and um, it might be strong. I don't know. Uh, the thing is, I managed to to get these on black. Uh, and I think this is probably winning, but uh, I was not completely sure. But this was the plan anyway. Um, but uh, in the game he played uh, played a, a bad move, played this move, uh, getting the bishop outside of the, the, the pawn before he moves it. Um, the problem is that now e4 is just strong. It was all based on, on this move, uh, d3. And uh, and the, the the trick is of course, uh, but this tactics I see that this is is, is losing to to this move, um, and uh, I'm I'm not very happy uh, because of the pin here, uh, but of course uh, that was uh, I, I I can see that so king d2 and here he played b4 and offered a draw. Uh, I, I he. To, to his excuse, he didn't see, he hadn't seen uh, my move. Uh, um, I'm of course better, but but after this move, he's completely lost. And I, I was sort of, uh, I was sort of confused because I thought it was a little bit rude to offer a draw when you're totally lost. So I just, just said no, <laughs> like 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 you're 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 a moron. So I was not very sporting to be to be honest. Uh, but <laughs> well, he was a little bit embarrassed afterwards. Uh, and here, of course, I'm, I'm totally winning. Um, uh, the king is, is is active. I'm I'm dominating his pieces. Uh, and and by the way, this is a little trick. Um, there is a, there is this possibility to get some counterplay. Uh, and but but this one is weak. So and and it's on the same color as this one uh, and this one. So what do you want to do? You of course want to play this move. Uh, you can't take because uh, the the yeah the bishop is hanging right. So. Uh, so I'm, I'm just, and this a pawn is not dangerous. So, um, 
So and and that means uh, I I just managed to avoid any attack on anything here, any activity, and make this a weakness forever. So and here he can resign, uh, uh, but after okay, it took a little bit of time, and here he resigned. Of course, this is just uh, coming, and uh, and the rook is is going going here, and he will be uh, losing everything uh, very soon. Um, so that was uh, sort of a nice, uh, nice game. Uh, fantastic tactics, uh, C takes B3. I don't think I've seen a tactic like that before, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's not a regular tactic. Anyway, this was uh, DM Talks. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed this uh, All Moves Explained episode uh, of a little bit of uh, Ruffle and Shuffle uh, Grandmaster Chess. Um, and um, you could leave a comment if you liked it. It would be nice. Thank you for...